We got a little we got about half inch of rain on friday another quarter inch last night so it's definitely a little wet right now but uh pretty fortunate for us anyways there was a tornado pretty good size one i've heard f3 i don't know how big it actually was a few ca casualties uh three in crawford county and three across the river in indiana and a whole lot of damage it went just south of our robinson place so we were good to go and but uh, praying for all them and hopefully uh, get the mess cleaned up and of course people out of the fatalities, there's no replacing that. But Morse went up in the airplane, got a few shots. Quite a bit of damage here. I think David even went up there maybe and hopefully got some GoPro stuff. Now we're up here in Crawford County today up, by Rob up at, uh, around our Robinson farm and there was a bad storm last night on Friday the 31st of March. A uh, tornado, really heavy winds come through up here. We're uh, really closer to Palestine right now. There's an irrigation down right out here. The house tore up. This is the Crawford County Airport over here to our right. We'll try to get a little bit closer. It's just leveled the buildings. Did a bunch of damage out here. There's, uh, of course, injuries, and I've heard there's a few fatalities also in Crawford County and over in <clears throat> Sullivan, Indiana. So thoughts and best wishes go out to everybody that is still with us and hopefully we can make a full recovery. Annie, we've got Annie and Ellie with me, so. Oh, boy, just a mess. 
on 33 here, getting close to the ethanol plant, going toward Palestine. And here's uh, York Farms right over here at Palestine, just where they got hit. There's a lot of people got hit up here. I'm not, it's just, I hate it. I hate it for all of them. It's, it's a bad deal. Now I'm gonna grab this forklift and uh, go unload some precision stuff. The furrow force and the reclaim are here. <laughs> the difference between a C and H and precision is these are not independent anymore. So this is controlling the depth of your disc. Okay, yeah. So if you're if you're not closing your air gap, just move it deeper. Okay, okay. Because most time air pressure is fine, but as long as these wheels are touching the ground, you, you need to go deeper to close the air gap. And you might need to shallow up if you think you're closing it too good. I have a tendency to start shallow and go deeper and watch your air gap. Okay, watch it. Yep. Yeah. About every turn, I forget what it says, it probably says in a book, but every turn is about a quarter inch on air gap. So if you got a half okay. inch air gap, two turns, it's, it's a good method of good roll of thumb. But yeah, watch your watch your your two rings and in the field if you're planting two inches deep, I like to be running between them two rings. Okay. So just right above it then, huh? Right. And you have some, what's nice to get it on the end so if somebody's riding beside you or whatever they can kinda of watch that. Yeah. Well they got them on. Look good too. Not quite as nice as they could be. We don't have a, a 2020 monitor. If we did, then it would automatically detect back here how much pressure was getting pushed up on these right here to the sensor underneath there somewhere, right in there. And then that would adjust it accordingly. But since we only have a 1200 monitor, we can't do that. I'm just gonna have to adjust it on its own. I'm gonna come back here, cause might as well anyways, make sure it's right. I'm gonna be adjusting the pressure on these two right here we just got two to hues see if we can see much difference or not um and we just adjust our pressure to them there and the depth of your wheel right there to try and get it right like uh like matt was saying so we got the, we did two on matt's suggestion which was a good idea do on the outside so then we'll have four of them in a row so see if we can tell any difference or not this spring So I think those closing wheels, are, I think they're gonna look good. I think it's a good look closing system. Okay, it's got a nice closing system too. That's why I think it'd be a good uh, good test. I can see them doing run circles around how uh, Deer's case closing system does. So look forward to see how this goes. Put in the seat disc. Usually say that for last. Took me hours to find them. She's like, I forgot where I put them. So that's been been kind of frustrating. The uh, seat comes right up against here. Gets right on that thing, spins around, and just pushes her out. Go see how the shanks are getting along on the uh, sprayer. Introduce you to them. Dad's also got his planter out. Boy, it's, it's like 70 degrees and sunny today. It's feeling close right now. Huh. Want to run us through what this uh, what this outfit does? Basically, this is reclaim, and it's going to, uh, basically, you can reclaim everything that's in the boom and send it back to the tank without anything on the ground, or that's the goal anyways. Save some money. Yeah, save some money, <laughs> plus keeps your boom from getting hot. Like if you sit overnight, yeah. or you don't have to flush. If you do flush with water, you can, or you can blow air and blow it back to the tank. Um, it's pretty simple. You just flip a switch, and it does its thing. There you go. Yeah, Shank Farms out of yep. Wadesville, Indiana. And you're Matt and yep. Dad's Dad, Jerry. Jerry. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We stay busy, but precision like. dealer since '96. You said. Yep. You should know a little bit about all of it then. We have. We grew <laughs> up with it. Yeah. So, yeah. It makes a difference. This is a new world being on sprayers, but we've had a sprayer all our life, so. Yeah, the reclaim hasn't been out that long, no, has it? A couple is, years. Yeah, this will be the first year it's commercial release. Oh, okay. So then they're coming out with sympathy. It's basically going to be nozzle body control, just like it's like an aim system. Okay, C and spray, you mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, or... C and spray. You got to have that to get C and spray, but yes. Okay. It, it, is right. the is the sympathy like the? Uh, um... Be like cap stand or aims or. Okay, it's not like the exact apply for the. It'd be the same thing as the exact apply. It, okay, here. there you go. But they're going. Someday you'll have the cameras to see and spray. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be nice. Yeah, I think that's where the money really. Yeah. Really starts saving money. Dying the pond to keep the algae from growing it makes it look better making it blue they got the heggy all done last night which i don't know if i described that very good or not it's just a pipe pretty much or a hose that returns the uh fluids going through the boom right back to the tank when you're purging so you're not wasting chemical putting it on the ground losing money and it also helps you get cleaned out a little better because it actually goes out the end so just the tips each one of those nozzles has a check valve i guess as long as it gets you as long as the pressure stays below 10 psi it doesn't come out the nozzle so none goes on the ground so but we'll have more on that and more on the fur furrow force as we get to use it but big thanks to shanks for coming up and putting it on and getting the equipment ordered and all that didn't I mean it was a job but precision definitely sends you all the stuff you need seems like that's good a lot of stuff out Getting it ready, two sprayers, two planters, side dress bar. There's like a 80% chance of rain tomorrow, but if we miss that, it may be go time. Oh yeah, pond looks good, it mixed up. I went through and made sure all my liquid on my concealed gauge knives, which comes out on each uh, gauge wheel. Uh, was all flowing good. Now we're gonna get in here and make sure it's calibrated. Just come in the calibration wizard, tell how five gallons an acre is what we're gonna be doing on the stuff we're trying, and uh, high cell goes 10, so that's what we'll do. Make sure our alternator's on. There she goes. Now we'll go back to the back. I think this should be good from last year, but I always need to check it. We got three different measuring cups and three different spots here. We'll measure what it puts out, then we'll compare that to what the machine thinks it is putting out. So that's the same, we're good. If it's different, we gotta put in a new number of what it actually did, and then they'll put in a calibration number, and then we'll have to go again. So here we go. See how the liquid's coming out right there? Just like it's supposed to. Take the part where the two sides connect. Yeah, can't get my camera in very good. There it is. Run the water into that measuring cup. Do it down three rows and we'll uh, see how it goes. They're pretty close. We'll do a couple more. Forever's helping. Dad. In a seat tender ready. Big behemoth of a thing. Got that last spring. Here comes Dad bringing in the other seat tender. We got two of them. This one we use for the corn. It's four pro boxes on it. That one we just dumped directly into no pro, either Alvin pro box or our bulk fill right there. It holds about 500 bushel, I think. His makes mine look like a baby. Two readings right in a row, identical. I'm calling 
like they're supposed to be. I'm uh, calling that good. I'm not planting anything, but don't that look nice? Dad's been out here too, just making sure everything works. That river back there walking, make sure everything's spinning. Yeah? Alright, we're good to go. Alright, everything works. These aren't set yet, so I, I wouldn't take anything out of this, but just initial thought, thoughts. They don't disturb the ground there as much. Wherever that's work. Huh. You can find the trench easier in those than that one. Breaks. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, River. Figure it out. Yeah. We, we just went like 50 feet. I don't I think that's enough to have an opinion on. Yeah. All right. Water's drained. I got a couple bushings on the uh, oh, on the conceal uh, knives. I need to replace. Take it in. Do that. Got to put a air filter on the air compressor. So is that? I think. I think that thing's ready to go. So that's good. But also got this in the mail today. All kinds of new stuff coming in. It is a Tempest weather station. I don't know it's solar powered here gotta connect the wi-fi a little sensor right here for your uh for your measure rain it's supposed to measure measure wind measure sun and it goes to an app on your phone and then uh yeah i don't know see how see how it works and he's like ai technology using your own tech your own conditions and whatnot to give you a more accurate forecast allegedly so we're going to Gonna test her out, see how she does. Rain coming. That uh, rain's coming, we got uh, just shy of three tenths, big quarter, I'd say. Where I had that Tempest weather station, it did not, did not work, it was out of range. So, ended up mounting it right here. It's in range here. Came with a nice little thing to go on a pole, just had to find a, piece of conduit put in the ground so we'll see how it does if uh if you're wanting your uh try out tempest weather station check the link in the block in the uh check the link in the description go to their website and use the coupon code or the promo code ivers and get you 10 percent off i'm not sure if it's any good yet or not but we're gonna we're gonna test that one out and we'll let you know in the meantime See what these guys are doing. Messing with the seed tenders. I got the planter in here, do a few things. David's got the nitrator. River is working on this one. What are you doing on this one? Uh, changing the oil, checking the tires, making sure everything's good to go. Better be, because that one's mine. This one doesn't matter. That one's very important. I'll make sure that one runs better. Good, thank you. I'll make sure there's talc in here too. Probably don't know about this. Oh, that's fine. That's pretty cool. Got an 80 20 graph, talc graphite blend. It goes in right there so the seed, seed, blue, seed lube. What are you doing? I'm welding an adjusting nut because my bike goes in this receiver and it's too floppy. Mm. So I'm going to have a bolt broke down against the. So do gotcha. We're just riding your bike yesterday. Yep, just riding it yesterday. It's a big deal, River. It's a big deal. Brian from H and R came over. Got to put us a wire on. Yeah. Uh, just go straight back to the solenoid back there. They use the Delta Force to raise the rows as it's going down the row. Doesn't have much. Every once in a while, they'll drag. So. See if it works. Oh, yes! Yep, I like that. Nice. No more drag.
second going in and out of the fields, Jay. my hero look at this well we ended up getting about an inch and eight tenths of rain yesterday so it's definitely wet the tempest weather station said it rained 2.8 so i need to call them about that either it needs something needs calibrated i was reading on the website if it shakes too much it'll show too much rain so maybe i need it on a different pole but anyways anyway you slice it's wet but there is not any rain chance on the forecast until a week from saturday so thinking next week we will be in the field and hopefully planting something so today we're going to treat beans i think we can probably get them all treated today and tomorrow so we're going to get started on that first we got to come out and get it calibrated all right we got a gustafson uh ladder treater here there's a lot of nicer ones this one we had we've had it for i want to say 13 14 years at least did look pretty seriously out of my yield one those look pretty nice down at the farm show but they had to lock you into buying your, their chemicals and everything i don't know something about that just makes you a little nervous but it's a good looking treater for this what we're going to do we're going to run one box through here don't treat it we'll time it this is how we calibrate just make sure it's right then we'll see how much of uh the seed shield fungicide insecticide should go on for a box then we'll run it out just straight water through this system time it make sure that adds up then we also put on a verdesian uh preside it's an inoculant rhizobia bacteria that fixes nitrogen in the soil uh nitrogen nodes the nodes on the soybean roots so they got some more of that how much that's supposed to be on box run just water through that side time it then uh we'll be ready to go there comes a big green monster the big green truck is pushed that way we're coming in slow There she is. Love it or hate it. I like it. We better give them an update. We better give them an update. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. We haven't got one box treated yet. It's afternoon. This motor right here, bad. It goes, I got a treater tore apart here. The seed comes down through here. It mounts right up in there a little bit. Anyways, the liquid comes from the tank, squirts in here. Right here it goes there, and this thing is supposed to spin. It's not spinning. This motor spins it. That's the problem. But Mike Wilson, FS down in Allendale, they got one on hand and got it bringing it up. So that's good because we opened an inoculant instead of using the bladders. So they've been bad by the end of the day. So hey. Mike saved the day. Gotta say something. In my defense, I had my job done before lunch. It's because we don't give you much to do because you can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Electrician over here getting the wiring for the motor. Looking good. 
Over here, got the new Volvo in. Seat tenders are ready. Let's get that seat treater going. We'll be getting close. Dad's branding her. If you're on wet, good thing is the A didn't stick. I had to redo it. Letters here is the worst. Yeah, I agree. Those things don't want to come off, do they? Moment of truth. Whoa! It <laughs> got some stuff in it. You got red stuff on your face. Did you turn it off? Yeah. Okay, good. My face red? You yeah, you got you got you got a treated face. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a redhead. Don't taste it. It don't taste good. Measles. <laughs> Sticking them on there, sticking our treatment on them, take them down there, break them down, and get them out of the shed. Treat them into a trailer, then we blow them up their overhead hoppers, and the bean guy just pulls underneath them, loads the tender with them. Still treat beans. Force is back to this camper in while we got the shed empty. Files getting smaller. We got one number done. I got a late start. I had a fog drain to outside the big four came over and then had another meeting with the guys, but can't enter it in there and then we put the we stack them up out here and outside. Gives us a lot better, a lot bigger shop, a lot bigger shed that way. Okay, it's break time. We're taking a little break and we have a special break. River's doing a strengths challenge. Yeah. He's gonna try and ride the crane in the shop, grabbing one hand all the way up and all the way down. How you feel like your chances are? Uh, I don't know. I feel feel confident about it. I did it once. Eli tried it once and failed. I'm sure he can do it now, but yeah, just at that time. So I feel like we should do this before we get a drink. Yeah. All right. You doing it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. It doesn't move very fast. That's what hurts you. That really hurts your chances. Good luck. Thanks. You gotta believe in yourself. Yeah, I do. He's made it off the ground. How, how are we feeling? You feeling good? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Let me know if we need to go back down. Now you just gotta make it down. You can't jump. That's the rule. Oh man, he wants to let go so bad. You're so close. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, I can't believe you got so oh, close man. and didn't get it. You're gonna try? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it <laughs> Yes, it is. It's way harder than it looks. Next time. Okay, are you good? Yeah, you good to go? Good. You need a stretch? Nope. Okay. You need a pep talk from River? You got it. You got All right, it. deep breath. Here we go. Man, you about made it. I was so oh close. God. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it looks. Oh. Here, I'll try. Let me know if I need... Oh, you need to go close. <laughs> good try, guys. Good try. Yeah. Well, I'm carrying it up to my spot where I'm going to wash out my hoses. I kind of hope to get done today, but didn't happen we're well over half uh so just where my hoses run into where it spins in there and gets it all coated and everything i'm gonna clean my hoses out so we make sure it's not gunked up or anything by monday which it shouldn't but just in case but we put a big dent in it it's looking like great forecast next week i'm hoping maybe we can spray do some burn down or something monday or tuesday maybe do some field work and planting wednesday or thursday We'll see. 
but uh, that's it for this week. If you want your Ivers, uh, if you want your Ivers merch, go to ivers-farms.myshopify.com. Thanks for watching on this Good Friday. I'd like to wish you a happy Easter. For he is risen, he is risen indeed.